Right, what's up with YouTube back again with another quick video for you today and in this one I'm just going to be having a quick look at the Portrait Pro 23 the new version that's out now I've got it installed on my computer and I, again every year I'll say the same really happy now one of the biggest things why I upgraded was the support for the M1 and M2 chips I'm using Mac um, I'm on the Mac mini and using the plugin last year with Photoshop you had to run it in Rosetta mode to have it working which was a pain because it did slow it down just a little bit not a lot but it did slow it down now I've noticed now running natively Portrait Pro 23 and Photoshop 2023 it's running a lot better and I'm just happy about that now it's got a few new features Again, if you've not tried this software before, it's worth buying. The price on it at the moment is only, let me just check. Uh, I do know actually, it is, I will tell you straight away, it's $49.95. They've got it on offer at 50% off. You can upgrade as well. I'm not so sure if they're doing a little bit of discount on the upgrade, if you've got an older version. But system requirements as well you're going to need is Windows 11, Windows 10. I think it will work on older operating systems, but everyone's using Windows 10 or 11 now. And the latest Mac OS uh, is 10 point, uh, or running 10.14 or later. Again, you've got your no quibble guarantee if you're not happy with this software. I'm not getting paid to say this. I've been using this software for over 12, 13 years now. I just love it. For what I do... It's perfect. Anyway, so we'll just go back over some of the new features. Um, like I said to you, oh God, here we go. New tools in Photoshop. We've got the stray hair removal. I've had a quick look at that. It's not something I'm going to be using a lot because I've used Photoshop for that most likely. Again, if you're not using Photoshop and you're just using Lightroom and this, could be ideal for you. Not one of the features I'm bothered about. Again, arty effects. Some people might like this sort of thing. Not something I'll be using. So here we go. We've got the art effects built in as well now. And we've got the backlight brush. Again, not something I'd use. It's there if that's something you'd like to try as well. Like I said, M1 support. If you want to try this software, you can down it as a free, download it as a free trial. It's full, fully functional. But I think at the end of it, you're going to have like a um, watermarks all over your picture. So again it makes you buy it but for the price there's nothing compares in my opinion i'm going to put it up against another software that's been released i tried that one on a trial i bought it the last year and the year before not as good 100 percent not as good again not paid to say it but you'll just see the results anyway you get a better end result with this software when you're using it okay so again i won't say this software is for high-end retouches because they're just going to be using Photoshop primarily and um, doing all their business. They've got hours and hours to do one photo, something I don't have. If I'm working with clients and they're wanting 30 or 40 pictures, not a chance I'm going to be sat in Photoshop for hours on end editing and editing. And I never get any problems. Everyone loves what I do with the pictures. Um, again, some people do go too far. I try not to. I keep it just... Anyway, as if they've had a makeover in a photo shoot and they've paid a lot of money, you can, again, get the same results with this software. I'm ranting on a bit now, so we're just going to go straight into the software and you can see how quick it will run on my M1 Mac Mini. I'm also doing a full 2K screen recording at the same time and doing a few other things like downloading files so we'll just see how it runs okay portrait pro up and running it's not been sped up or anything this is exactly what you'll get yourself it's doing its business finding the face and we're done that was about that now i do i haven't got the 2002 version i've been updated to the latest one so i can't put it against the old one but i guarantee it is 100 percent a lot faster than it used to be it wasn't slow but you know every minute saved is another dollar as they say okay so it's 
the AI, if you've not used it before, will recognize the face and put the main points, as you can see on the screen. It does make things wrong now and again. So we've got the edge of the face, which is here. So you can just adjust these points yourself to how you want it to be. That should be up there for the hairline. It's just missed a little bit of the eyebrows here. So we'll just get them all in, just so we know what we're doing. Bring that one up, bring that one down just a little bit. Move it over here. Just a little bit of the eye missing there. It's caught all that perfect for me. I'm happy with that. We'll bring the nose up to where it should be. And this point goes up to there. How have we done on the lips? Okay, so if I go quiet, I do apologise. I'm just trying to concentrate as I do this as well. We'll bring that into there. Bring that one over. And now I don't usually go this extreme when doing these pictures because, again, I just don't have the time to be fapping around too much. And I don't see much of a difference if you do miss doing this. I'm just giving you an idea of what it does. Okay. Bring the eyebrow over just a little bit more. And then we're going to leave it there. Now, the first thing I always do... It, now, it has got a lot of presets in. Just do it yourself. Or make your own preset, I would say. But um, I always turn everything off to start when I'm doing my edits. And then... I will go straight into the shape. We're just going to thin the face down just a little bit. So as you can see there, it's just thinning, that, thinning, thinning the face down just a little bit. As for, another thing I will do as well is slim the neck. And then we're going to make the, the neck just a little bit longer. Everybody likes a taller neck. Now slimming just a little bit there. Some of these um, neck and shoulders, I'll just bring that to about there. Neck base, we'll just bring that down a bit as well. We just want to make that neck just a little bit longer. So there we go, so before and the after, if I can just get that there. Before and after, you can see what I'm doing so far. Okay, um, next thing I will do is just give a little bit more volume to the hair for this picture. Eyes, her eyes are fairly big anyway, but we'll just make them, sorry, eye expanded. We're just going to bring them up a little bit. Now I'm noticing on this picture, this eye is still a little bit closed compared to the other one. So we're going to widen this one. You can do everything individually just so you get things perfect. Again, I'm happy with that. We'll just give a little bit of plump into the lips, just very slightly on this one. Not gonna do anything with the nose and all the other things in there. We'll bring the hairline down just a little bit because we did elong the face. Sorry, the neck. Now again, if I was adjusting this, I do this do use his software and Photoshop as well, so I'll probably, at the end of it, do something just to bring this hair over just a little bit. These strays, again, some of the time when I'm editing pictures, I think the strays, you know, that they're, they're fine, you know, so don't worry too much about strays. Okay, next thing I will go to on this girl, I won't be doing anything with the uh, skin smoothing. Maybe just a little bit of imperfection around the eyes. We can see what it does. So we'll bring that up to around the 50 mark. She's not got any wrinkles. Fine shadows, you can see what that does. Again, I'm not going to be using that on this one. I will sharpen the image up just a little bit, up to around about 7. And then I will leave that one and close it for now. The next one I will go to is the makeup. And we'll just get these eyelashes popping. Just a little bit more to about there. And the eyeliner for around the eyes, we'll just highlight them. So 
always good to hi highlight the eyes and this sort of area and you can see what it's doing there again we're just going to go ever so slightly around the 30 odd mark blusher we'll just bring a little bit of blusher back in just a tad brighten those cheeks up too much for me again around the 30 mark okay everything else in there I will leave for now next one is the eyes is the eyes were nice and bright anyway but we will just add a little bit of brightness to the eyes nothing too much whitening in the eye will bring that down just a little bit a little bit sharpen on the eyes again go too far they look silly so around the 11 mark on the sharpening maybe down just a little bit okay uh, one more thing we will do in here a little bit sharpen on the eyebrows again not too much and that's it for there for now okay then we will go into the lighting and contour uh, lighting and coloring section so we want to give this but this picture a little bit more depth so what I will do first is add a bit of modeling light you can see in the in the eyes we had a reflection down here and one up there so that's where the catch lights were so it was quite face full on as you can tell it's all nicely lit we're just going to add a little bit of modeling to the picture probably again 30 mark will be fine a little bit of 3d so we'll add a bit of shadow on this side just a light bit on this side as well smoky eyes again works on some pictures this one we'll just give it a touch I think around about there the pout what it does is puts a little bit of shadow underneath the lip to give them a little bit more of a pop and a 3D look we'll sculpt the nose brings that nice line down there highlights it okay skin color in we'll just nip into here check we're happy which i am makeup we've done that one and like i said this is just a quick edit to the before and after and a, just a quick trial run of this 23 version of the software definite lifesaver for me and I think I'm going to be done on this one. So there we go, before and after. Actually, we'll just see if we can adjust the tone in. If we bring the vibrance up just slightly, I think, for this picture. Saturation, 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 we're going to leave. Temperature, we'll just bring that down a few degrees maybe to 17 and then if we do that saturation we'll just nip back into here a little bit more shadow on this side a little bit more on this side and we're going to go back into photoshop i'm done yeah so people can use this software <laughs> and uh, sorry people can use portrait pro or they can use Photoshop. For me, I just don't have the time to be faffing around in Photoshop for hours on end. I'm happy with the results I've done there. And um, yeah, we'll leave it at that for now. Click OK. We're done. See you in the next one.